Hi everyone! Happy Stamp the Fair 2014. Um, I'm here with the Regency era and the crochet die. I just wanted to show you how I interpreted this die. Uh, I think there are a lot of different ways you could use it. Um, I chose to go ahead and use mine on a die cut to kind of make it pop and stand out from my background. But you could definitely stamp it on uh, your on your card base and then just use it that way as an embroidery accent. But I began with the Limitless Layers 2.5 inch circle die and then I went ahead and ran my crochet die through in order to get my holes. And then I wanted my leaves to pop plus there wasn't quite enough room on my die for the leaves. So I used the Delightful Dahlia's leaves and then I ran them through in order to get the holes for the leaves. And then I just selected my thread and I wanted um, my flower to be really soft just as it would have been back in the Regency era. So I started with a darker color in the center and then I worked out to a softer pink and then a vintage cream. And then the leaves are done in, a, in the same lighter pink that I used in the middle of the flower. So. Um, the card comes together really quickly once you've gone ahead and, and used your crochet die. I used paper from the Regency Era kit and I wanted my polka dots across the bottom. And then I cut the soft stone crochet paper, um, a little bit smaller than that, so, and left my polka dot border. And then I used the stripe, which is, I don't know, these colors and patterns remind me of the Regency era so much you would always find that they would combine stripes and polka dots and florals together and then a nice beautiful embroidered scarf or bonnet. Um, this is the tag sale number 8 die and I'm just going to finish my card up by attaching my um, crocheted flower right there on top and then I'll stamp my sentiment right up here in the corner. Okay, so to finish I added a soft pink or a sweet blush button right up here at the top of the tag and then to cover up the joint between the leaves and the crocheted flower um, since I used two different dies there I went ahead and just added a white, white silk bow. Um, I encourage you to search out some beautiful shades of pinks, um, even turquoise different colors, creams, whatever you'd like to do as you create your Regency Era Crocheted card. I can't wait to see it. Thanks for stopping by.